What do you think? Is the breakfast sandwich the best part of the day? You guys really seem to like the how I make my cheeseburger video, so now I'm expanding that to how I make my breakfast sandwich. I have some leftover brisket in the fridge from yesterday, and today I'm making a brisket breakfast sandwich, but sometimes I do bacon, sometimes I do sausage, sometimes I don't do any meat at all, I just do egg and cheese and tortilla wrap. And most of you know that I do a whole low carb situation here, so today I'm using a low carb wrap, just like I did on my burger. The brand I'm using is La Banderita. Now these ones are a little bit more fluffier than the Mission ones. I actually like the Mission ones more. They get a little crispier when I fry them up. So I like those ones a little bit more, but they were sold out at the grocery store. So I got these ones. So these are zero net carbs. They have carbs, but then they have fiber. You subtract the fiber from the carbs, you get zero net carbs. Here's what I'm gonna use to get rolling on my breakfast sandwich. I've got my little fancy skillet. You don't have to have a fancy skillet. To go along with my brisket, I'm using a nice green onion to add some sweetness. So I need a chef knife. I like a fish spatula. You don't have to use a fish spatula. You can use a regular spatula or a rubber scraper, whichever you want to use. I just really like to use a fish spatula because I like the angle it provides so I can get along the corners of the pan nice and easily. They usually tend to have a sharper edge so that I can get under the egg or get under the meat and get crispy bits a little easier. So it can be used for a lot more than just fish people. Not fish people, fish comma people. I'm going with pepper jack cheese, so I need a cheese grater. And if you're lucky enough to have someone near you that has chickens and sells their eggs or gives you their eggs, the taste is unparalleled to anything you buy in the grocery store. So if you're lucky enough to have that near you, I would suggest going to get those eggs. It's worth the extra dollar or so for the dozen. It really, really is. Wait till you see the color of the egg yolk. It is just far and away so much brighter and so much richer than something you would buy that is mass produced at the grocery store with the chickens that just sit on their broken legs all day long. It's, it's an unparalleled experience for your breakfast sandwich and I recommend it. So, and if you look at the color of these eggs, like they're all different colors. So just getting brown eggs doesn't really mean anything. Okay, it's just marketing. Maybe I'll do a video soon on the difference between free range, cage free, brown eggs, all those different things with some very special people from some very special farms near me. End rant, and so you're also gonna need a fork, a bowl, a plate, and a napkin. Let's get going. Okay, so the thing we want to do first is we want to get our eggs in our bowl, and we want to get our salt in there. So I like to take a nice pinch of salt. Look at the color of that yolk. I hope you can see it the same way I do because it's like neon. So the reason we wanna get our salt in our eggs is we wanna let our salt in our eggs kind of marry together for about 10 minutes while we do all of our prep work. That is going to allow the salt to completely absorb into the egg and you're gonna get a fluffier, tastier egg mixture. You want it to just run right off your fork. You don't want any real big clumps. Look at that color. Absolutely beautiful. That's one difference. The taste difference is immense. Okay, so wash and dry your green onion. Remove the, the tip and any skanky pieces. So like that's kind of skanky. I just get rid of it. Also skank. You can separate the white from the green if you want to. I'm just gonna put them all together and that's more than enough. They're sweet, they're tasty. Put them in the oil and they're gonna add such a bright flavor to this sandwich. Now let's pick a piece of brisket. I'm gonna go for a little bit more of the fatty side. So it was my first experience cooking brisket, which you'll see the video later. And I learned quite a lot from it. You know, some things to do, some things to try differently next time. I got a great bark. Overall flavor of the point meat was absolutely incredible. So tender and fall apart. And the flat meat was a little bit of a different story, but I think I know what I did wrong there. So, but you'll, we'll talk about that in another video. Okay, so I'm just gonna chop this into smaller bites. Now I'm actually gonna set aside half of each of these for my wife to make her breakfast sandwich when she comes home. But feel free to add as much meat and green onion and cheese as you want to. And grate some cheese, nothing special there. I like to have about a handful of cheese for my breakfast sando. So now we're going to go fry and toast up our wraps. Let's go to the stove. We're rocking our pan at medium heat, touch of oil. Go ahead and get your plate ready with a paper towel on it because once our wraps are done frying, we're gonna set them on the paper towel to absorb any leftover oil. Just give it a little swizzle in there and toast up your tortilla. As it's cooking, feel free to stir it around a little bit. That is looking righteous. So I like to toast just one side because I like the crispy exterior in the soft interior. That's just the texture that I prefer. Whoop, that's a little bit too much, no big deal. And after toasting our first one, your pan is already hot enough to almost instantly heat that oil up. Let's get the next one in there. And now this one will toast up much quicker, so don't walk away. And if it starts to puff, just give it a press down. Air is building up underneath it, just lift it up. Let that air escape. 
Yeah, lovely. Put that on the paper towel. Now I've got it. enough oil left over in there already. So we're gonna add our steak. In this case, it's our brisket. And some green onion. Go ahead and season that with a little bit of salt. Ooh, that smells amazing. That brisket smell is already filling up the house after just 10 seconds. All right, this is gonna cook up fast. We got a hot skillet. So let's have our cheese and our eggs ready to rock. Let's set that aside. So we just need a little bit more oil. Swizzle it all around. Time for the fun to begin. Look at that color of those beautiful eggs. It's something I can never get enough of. Let's add our cheese in, add our meat. I'm not really concerned about adding it just to one side. Tilt the pan, scrape the eggs to one side, let that firm up on the side. Do it again over here with the excess egg. You can see how it's becoming much easier to move. Move it around again and continue tilting your pan to move that excess, let that excess egg run. And once you get to the point where it stops really running a lot, then we're gonna fold it over. We're basically making a little omelet situation here. Give it a little squeeze and let that excess egg come out of there. You're gonna see a lot of juice from the steak and from the cheese start to ooze out. A really heavy guy like this one, feel free to go ahead and cut it in half when you go to flip it. And boom, there we go. Go ahead and turn the heat off. Look at our cheese is already melting through. It's gonna have a, a nice brown and firm edge on the outside, not too firm though, and a nice soft and cheesy gooey center. And just let that finish cooking without the heat on. The residual heat from the pan is gonna carry through. This pan is great for that. Also cast iron is fantastic as well. We've got our first one. One towards the outside there. And then we take our rounded edge from this guy, put them here. Let's go finish. The last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little bit of sriracha. Not too much, because we got a shortage, folks. Yeah, oh, I like it spicy though. Let's go ahead and add our crispy top. Not on the inside. And there's my breakfast sandwich, folks. Go ahead and give it a slicer. And there we go. That's lovely. Cheesy, gooey, it's gonna be smoky from that brisket. Like I said, use whatever meat you want to, or don't use any meat at all. I don't always. Here it is again. That is... Lovely. <laughs> oh boy, that's one of the better ones lately, folks. <laughs> you have been privileged to see it, and I am privileged to eat it. Mm. Tell me in the comments how you make your breakfast sandwich. Tell me in the comments if you're gonna try my way, plus or minus the brisket. I'm gonna go eat the rest of this. It's fantastic. I might need to take a nap afterwards. I hope not because I've got a lot of work to get done. But as always, I appreciate you. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.